Three, two, one. Oh, oh my. Oh! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because today I have something on the table right now that is going to blow your mind. So, I was on the internet and I got a message from a very, very well known member of the Pokemon card community. And I'll put his name on screen right here Pokeram. And if you guys haven't heard of him, he has literally one of the biggest Pokemon collections in the entire world. He has an eBay listing on eBay currently of his collection that is worth over a million dollars, Parker. That's that's um it's a lot bigger than yours. In, in every way. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is he messaged me and he was like, hey man, would you like to do a mystery box? And you when you get a message from one of the world's biggest Pokemon collectors, and he says, Do you want to do a mystery boxes? What is the answer? What is the obvious answer here? Maybe. Let me think about this. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what I did is I we're gonna be no 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 oh, we get into this more epically. Oh, alright, let's do it. <laughs> Box of awesome news right here. This box is more expensive than a car. <laughs> that was a dope picture, right? Yeah. Do you like my guitar? Yes, it, yes, I do. Yeah, I, I it was it was I, uh, Slash gave it to me. He said it's the lightest one they've ever made. <laughs> 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 All right, so do you want to know what's in this box, though? It's a mystery box. So how do you know? Well, it's not that, that, that big of a mystery. It's the world's biggest Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously Pokemon cards, but I'm yeah. trying to, yeah, I thought you were trying to talk more specific cards. I ain't talking about specifics, I'm talking about the coast, baby. Wizards of the coast. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a box, guys, that is filled 100% with vintage Pokemon card products. But you want to know the, the catch? The, uh, small print? The small print? Yeah. Well, you said just, you said vintage cards, right? Yeah, I do, I do want to know the, uh, the small print. This car is a used Civic. What? It's $5,000! This box, guys, costs $5,000, but I tried Trust Pokey Rev, I will put his channel down below. If you guys are interested, go subscribe. Put it up here as Instagram as well, guys. Like I said, if you were looking for somebody that's very in-depth talks about Pokemon, the community, and collecting as a whole, and you're looking for that, he is your guy. He knows everything when it comes to TCG. Super knowledgeable and highly recommend you go check it out if you're looking for somebody that just knows what they're talking about. Oh, that hurt. That, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, but yes, hey, like, this is vintage stuff. I mean, you just like shiny stuff, you know? You like shiny stuff. Everybody, <laughs> everybody likes shiny stuff, okay? Everybody likes shiny stuff. I'm not saying that, yeah, I mean, I like shiny stuff too. We all like shiny stuff. Okay, but you're not wrong. If you're looking for somebody who knows the ins, and also the numbers of the outs, Come back in and finish that though. Go check them out down below. But anyway, let's get into this box right now. Thank you to Pokerab for the opportunity and let's get into this thing. All right, the unboxing knife has never cut anything of, of this caliber, but it should do it, it should do it. <laughs> you realize this is literally, like I said, this is like cutting into someone's first car. <laughs> the only reason I did this, guys, I would not put that kind of money on anything, but this guy has the one of the insanest collections in Pokemon, like I said, there was no place I'd be able to get this much awesome vintage product in one box like this than other than Poker Rev. So that is why I just committed to it. All right, so it is open. Man, you can take a seat right here. Just get into my life savings. <laughs> All right. All right, so we popped it open. There is a note on top. We are going to get into this. Let's do it. All right, what are those? Zip the box? These are zip blocks, yes, Parker. What are they for? What? I forgot to get sleeves. Are you serious? <laughs> on a $5,000 vintage box? these life. <laughs> Are you seriously telling me you're gonna put a card in a Ziploc bag? I mean, it's that's essentially what a sleeve is, but... That's what a sleeve is, until I can get some sleeves. But we are getting into this right now, despite my... Lack of sleeves. My lack of... I was so expensive, I couldn't afford sleeves, okay? Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so PokerRev sent a letter and it says, I hope you and the Rep Pack are excited for this epic $5,000 mystery box. Inside, you will find some of the rarest and most expensive Pokemon collectible products ever made. Ever made! Do you know what that means? Ever made. It means exactly what I just said! <laughs> Keep up the great work, spreading that positivity, and making everybody's day brighter. That is always the job. Thank you so much, PokeRev. Let's get into this right now. Package from one of the dopest Pokemon collectors of all time. I mean, this is my family. You can pick a package. Wow. <laughs> Alright, man. I don't, there's a lot. This thing is filled to the brim. Thank oh. you so much, PokeRev, for filling this thing up. <laughs> I, I, I guess I was just going with this one right here. Alright, sounds good to me. There's probably nothing in here I could pick up that I wouldn't like. <laughs> and let's see what the first item is, guys. We're going to be popping an all this stuff and a lot of this is for my personal collection but if you guys want to see me pop open anything in this box as we're going through it make sure you smash that like button and let me know down below in the comments and maybe it might, it might happen who knows might start splitting packs busting cheeks i mean what the rappers rappers, what? rappers. <laughs> all right so the first item and on screen guys the price of every single item the value will be popping up on screen as well so those of you guys at home that maybe don't know the prices of everything and keep along with what's going on here we go 
<gasps> oh, oh, dude, did you see it? that? No, you blocked everything. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh! Hey, dude, right here we have a Pokemon Rumble box. Do you remember this game during the I Wii? I so remember this. <laughs> One of my favorite games of all time, and Parker could be a, a test of this. Haven't I said I want this? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. So these cards inside here are only in this box. This is the Pokemon Rumble box, and these promo cards are literally you can only get them inside of this box right here. And they made like their own card game like temporarily for it, which you know, obviously didn't work out too well. All right, that is freaking sick. All right, so that's the first item, and I'm already gone edge with the epicness. <laughs> All right, so the next one we got right here, let's see, it's in a manila folder. I cannot stress how careful you should be. I am being Spongebob. as careful as I can. <laughs> I am being as careful as an ADHD can be. Do you okay. see that PSA case? Oh, oh that's There's a, a PSA, PSA case. So PSA. you guys know what PSA is. PSA makes graded cards. They basically scale the condition of a card. If you get like a PSA 9 or a PSA 10, that immediately strikes the value of the card because, well, it's graded at that, that grade. Three, two, one. Oh! oh! So right here we have a legendary collections PSA 10 Arcanine. That is so freaking sick. That is so sick. If you guys don't know what legendary collections are? They almost look like Unreal cards. Remember those old ones out of the uh, the coin machines that were stickers? Oh yeah. It almost looks like that. But this is actually the Hollows guys. This is the original like reverse Hollows basically. And they get freaking Arcanine, dude. If there's a Blaine standing behind him, <laughs> <laughs> what some would say his last standing. <laughs> and yeah, apparently his. Last stand, I would jump off a bridge right now. But thankfully, it's just Arkham. <laughs> All right, we're just going from the top to bottom. I don't know what could be. Literally, it could be the. I'm not gonna organize it from like best to worst. I have no clue. We're just going through this thing. Here's what the next one's got. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Ooh, we got a fresh black and white Zora Arc blister. That is freaking sweet. All right, we're gonna go over this box on top. I'm trying to keep it high escalation because there's stuff that's in there. I'm trying to avoid seeing it. So I'm gonna keep the box kind of far. We got one more right here. All right, next box. Let's see what we got here. This is literally the most ridiculous thing I've ever opened. Let's see what we got in this next box. Oh, oh I see. Dude. I see Charizard. I see. Oh, 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 oh dude. Pokemon Platinum Supreme Victor. We got the chop. We have all the R. <laughs> dude, there's your guy right there. We got Rayquaza, Charizard, Absol, and Garchomp. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is so freaking clean right there. That Charizard pack is the dopest. The Charizard on top. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, that is freaking sick, dude. I don't, this is like overdosing. <laughs> Like, this would have been a grail. That would have been a grail. But it's just one of many awesome things. Let's keep going. Let's see what we got here. Oh, shoot, dude. I, I know what I, I saw. saw I saw some dark I... brownness. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Fossil booster packs, dude. They had the original freaking pay logo on them. I almost wish we could see what they said. At some point, these things were like $3. Can you believe three, that? Three, I'm a knockover, but share $3. I'm sure you, did you open Fossil? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, when, when the times were when, way, way back when I, when I was a child, Park was a child, these were $3. Now, now, these things are pricey. Prices will be on screen, like I, I said. A couple zeros. <laughs> <laughs> but here's all the artworks. All right, guys, so there's three arts here. I I actually do have the Aerodactyl art. So what we're gonna be doing, Parker's, Parker's gonna act, react in a way that makes me feel like an idiot. No but way, no way. I'm no gonna way. open it. No, <laughs> no way! And God, PokeRev guarantees everything in the box is 100% unweighed. So that means there's a possibility that I could get nothing. There's an even better possibility that I'm favoring. Gonna be something in it. If we get anything pulled, any hollow, we are getting it PSA and you guys will see it in the reveal when I get it done. But this will be PSA if there's anything in here. This is kind of crazy. We're aiming for a hollow, right? I know. So we I know. Full art, rainbow, ultra, mega rare. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, this and that. Oh, oh trainer. Oh, no, no, no. Hollow. <laughs> We're looking for a basic hollow, and that's probably worth more than most full art these days. So let's see what we got here. All right, here we go, man. This flimsy plastic. Back to friggin' 1996. It is open. There we go. We got Geodude. Mysterious Fossil. Oh, my God. These cards are clean. Krabby. Energy Search. Armonite. Shelter. Psyduck. And... Dude! Oh, a hollow hunter! Yes, dude! A hollow hunter!
sure. It took me a second because I didn't see the hollow at first. It like took me a second to analyze it. We just pulled a fossil holographic card. Let me stop spitting and put it in a sleeve. Dude, I cannot believe we actually pulled a hollow haunter. Let's take a look at the other side and see what our chances are of a grade here. It looks freaking clean, dude. I mean, it's in a plastic bag, but honestly, I would say that's like a minimum of an eight. Yeah, minimum of nine, I'm saying. I think that's gonna be a nine. It's like a little widening, but these are awesome. The thing that's most important to note, if you guys remember when I opened those base set packs a while ago, they were all scraped up and been in a storage unit and even the cars, when we were open them, there was like this powder that came out. Oh yeah. It was just old, but these are like super, super mint, which means the box they were in was taken care of and that's not that kind of stuff you sell. It's freaking insane. All right, next thing is not in a box. It just feels hard. Oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, that is a sick 10. This is a Pokemon original tops box from the animated series. Freaking 1995, 1996, 1998. I don't even know what these things are. Seven packs, one foil, a bonus size Chrome card. Like I said, guys, if you guys want to see any of this stuff, this is a showcase of all this epic stuff. Any of this stuff is up for dibs. If you guys want to see it open, maybe it might happen. Let me know down below. But holy crap, that looks freaking sick, dude. Can you imagine you go to Walmart and the tins you get nowadays are like, like a soda cans, basically. You know, there's a small, imagine you get a beeper like this. That's oh, display yeah. worthy. <laughs> that is, that so is. And that's by top. So that's not, it's like a, a whole different thing, probably for like the original movie or the original series. Yeah, it's like not even Wizards of the Coast, it's tops. All right, guys. So there's a container in here that has a question mark oh. on top. And it's inside of a Tupperware container. It's hard plastic. Sterlite. Yeah, it's obviously meant to be protected. Let's see what we got inside this one. All right. I am going to be surgically gentle. <laughs> surgically careful. Jeez. Where'd you get those? My dad's. Why does he have gloves? What does he do? He checks stuff. What does that even, what, what does he check? Prostates. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got inside this box. I don't know how to take this out. I don't know how to take this out. Let me surgically reach our hand in here. I'm gonna try and just grab it and pull it out. I'm gonna try not to oh. see it. Three, two, <gasps> one. Oh, oh my. Oh! No! I have a spitting problem. <laughs> Holy crap. Right here, we have a fossil booster box rep pack. Holy crap. That is absolutely insane. Holy crap. <laughs> if you guys want to see this open, oh, I can't say it's going to happen are exactly. You, are, you, are you serious? This video better get a hell of a lot of likes. Smash the like button. If you guys want to see that, maybe, maybe, maybe. These lights, you don't know why I am always so sweaty. Well, for one, I'm a hot-blooded person. Second, I move a lot. And third, these lights are like oven lights, okay? And I'm also spending a lot of a lot of money in this one, particularly. <laughs> All right, another box. Poker Rev's boxes are like the mystery box, but it's only the chase one out of 89. <laughs> hey, they're all that, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what we got in here. I see something yellow there. Ooh. Oh, dude, is that Crobat? Oh my oh. gosh, dude. <laughs> HS Undaunted, I think we, did we open these? I remember these packs. <laughs> HS Unleashed, dude, we got the freaking Crobat pack. The Entei pack. Dude, look at that L'Oreal hair. I know, right? <laughs> we got the Raikou right here, and of course, you got the Suicune, dude. It is like so awesome to have this trio of the freaking legendary dogs, and they're like, okay, Crobat. All right. <laughs> okay, so we got some Mormonel folders. Let's get into these ones. Based off what was in there last time, I can only assume what's in this one. Oh, yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Let's see who we got. Ooh, okay. okay, we do have a PSA here. Let's see what the PSA card is. Three, two, one. Oh! That's a first edition Dark Dragonite! Oh my god! That is like the best card that everybody wants out of Team Rocket. There's the Charizard and there's a Dark Dragonite. And that is it right there. We got a freaking Dark Dragonite first edition PSA 9. That is like a pack fresh card right there. And if you guys want to see, this is a PSA 9. The other one is a PSA 10. There is like almost no difference. Like they're literally the same card. It's just some guy was like, hey, I'm gonna give it a 10. <laughs> I'm assuming this is another PSA card. Let's do the reveal on that one. All right, we got the next one right here. Let's see what the front side is. Oh. You read it. You read it. I, I don't look. Just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> right there. The Dark Charizard. I literally just said the only other card you want to pull from Team Rocket is the Dark Charizard. Holy crap. That's like literally, guys, if we had a first edition Team Rocket booster box right here, the odds of it, even, it wouldn't even be worth it to open because these cards are right here. The best cards in the set are right there. And they're graded. <laughs> and they're nines. And they're nines. They're already mint. That is Insane. All right, let's see what we got here. This is another folder, but it doesn't feel like a PSA card. Oh. 
Oh! Oh my, oh my god, do you know what this is? This is an original Pocket Monster booster pack. This is base set Japanese. No, it's not. <laughs> this is a base set Japanese long grip pack. So these guys right here are the Japanese base sets. So you know base set booster packs, the ones that started all here? This is the Japanese, even older. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the artwork, dude. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's so much going on here. I will not be opening this. This is something I will always have. Because I mean, as a Pokemon fan, this this is where it all freaking started is the games and the freaking Japanese card game right here brought to the US changed the freaking world. All right, let's see what the next magical thing is in this box. Three, two, Oh! Hey, hey, hey. Right there, we got the long crimp again. You see, it's not even poked out, dude. So he must have got this out of a case and literally before they even put it on the shelf. All right, I think I'm gonna open this one. Are you serious? I'm gonna open it, Bob, I'm gonna do it! Here we go, jungle. We managed to get a hollow out of fossil. The odds of us getting one of this are not high, but we're still gonna go for it. We got Execute, Meowth, Eevee, Pokeball, Pikachu, Spiro, Cubone. Ah, Flareon, not hollow. It's okay though. That's still a sick Flareon. And then after we got Primate, Weeping Bell, and the Big Lick. <laughs> All right, two boxes here, left or right? Right. All right, I'm gonna go with left. <laughs> I'm go with the right. <laughs> All right, the reveal. Oh! Oh my God! Oh my goodness! We got base set back right there. I told you right. If you were right, usually you're left. <laughs> oh my God! Holy crap! I I didn't even know there was a Blastoise one. Holy crap. <laughs> Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, original pack art. It doesn't get more vintage. It doesn't get more nostalgic. And these are unweighed. So even if some, if you just did some hard drugs and decided, <laughs> decided to open those, those like, are completely unweighed. Yeah, you might actually get something they're worth it. Again, guys, I cannot stress this. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. And I'll, I might I might be unresponsible enough to open something. Okay. So after <gasps> catching my breath. <laughs> it went all the way outside. I had to go chase it down with my car. And here we go. Let's see what the next box has. What is what this? Is I don't even know what this is. It is awesome. It looks freaking sweet. Look at these Pokeballs. What Pikachu is... records? Oh, wait. Pokemon card. There's a card that comes in the back. This is what I'm talking about. When you mess with Pokerev, you are messing with the biggest collector in the world. Like I said, he might have some stuff that even if you're a Pokemon fan, you're like, what the hell is this? <laughs> okay, so we figured it out. And it comes with these awesome promo cards. But these are the original Japanese. Japanese promo art right here of the base set. So if you look at Blastoise, he's doing the Blastoise thing. You see a Venusaur, he's doing the Venusaur thing. You see Charizard, he's doing the legendary thing right there, being Charizard. This is why I got this box from PokeRev, is just because I knew there'd be stuff that I hadn't even heard of before in here, and that is one of them right there. Freaking awesome. Thank you, PokeRev. Literally, my, this was my collection before, bottom of the barrel, trash, and then just with just the stuff I've opened so far, top tier, best in California probably. Best in this area for sure. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here next. The oh, Dude. Yeah, this is <laughs> my man, my man. Oh! Oh, Emerald. oh, right there! Freaking Pokemon EX Emerald! Oh! <laughs> Emerald is one of my favorite games. That is so sick. That is so awesome. And Emerald is one of my favorite games as well. I mean, third gen, I'd say for anybody between like 20 to 26, that's the generation you grew up with was third gen. And like that right there is freaking sweet, dude. <laughs> I'm feeling in this, I feel multiple PSA cards. Like really? a stack multiple. of them. Multiple. Like a stack of PSA. PSA card. We're gonna pull them out one at a time. First one. Hey, oh! Shadowless! <laughs> Shadowless gem mid tin. First one right there. Let's see who the next one is. Oh, 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 Alright, then the next one. Uh, I'm gonna go Geodude. I'm gonna go with Badoo. Badoo. <laughs> no, 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 Right here we got the ghastly shadowless. Holy crap, guys! So right here, if you guys don't know what shadowless is, just to explain it real quick. So, in a normal Pokemon card, well, this isn't really normal. This is an epic card. But on a normal Pokemon card, you'll see the shadow right here by the picture. And on a shadowless card, it's a simple thing where they remove the shadow. There's also some other details in the bottom and stuff like that. But the big difference is that these ones are significantly more than the shadowed ones because they were in a much smaller print run. And right here we got three of the OG 151s. 
than a PSA 10 Shadowless. Well, not to mention that Shadowless is only in base set. Yeah, only in base. It's the only set you can get Shadowless. So this reference is with uh, Team Rocket, but it, this can only happen in base set. All right, this one feels a little like a bag. Let's see what we got in this one. Bag, okay. What do we got? Oh my gosh. Dude. Are these gym challenge? <laughs> yes, they are! Japanese. Oh, <laughs> Japanese gym challenge cards. If you guys don't know, in these packs, there are banned cards. So cards you literally cannot get in the United States. One, because, well, I'm gonna put the picture and you guys can just look for a symbol on there that maybe maybe some people might be upset about. But <laughs> that one, and also this one, where Sabrina looks like she's giving me the middle finger, and that is a card that I absolutely need for my Gengar collection. And there's also a card where Misty was made um, in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> this is gym challenge right here, but I felt another one dude. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Just dude, double nice. it up. All right So we got freaking two gym challenger bags dude right there. We got Erica Misty Brock Lieutenant Surge That is just this just keeps getting more more ridiculous and more fiction. It feels like I am in a dream right now Yeah, I'm trying to pinch you. Uh, what, what that would be me in the dream you pinching me I have to pinch you don't do that. Uh, I like this dream. I like this dream Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's the back side of it. We're just gonna go for it. This, I think I saw. I did yeah, accidentally I read a word. I think I might have seen the word expedition. Dude, if you guys you don't, don't know, expedition is one of the hardest sets to get cards for. Let's see what we got here. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> right there. We got the Expedition Reverse Hollow Meryl, otherwise known as Pika Blue. Right there, Jim Mint 10. That is oh so dude, sick. That is. Let's see what this next one is. We're going to pull it out. Three, two, one. <laughs> hey! Oh! First edition Doug Trio. But you know why I love this card so much? Do you remember in Pokemon Red version, you go to Cerulean City, you meet Misty's gym, and you go to a house where they say a Doug Trio came through their house and destroyed it. Yep. That's the card. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> right here, this is Team Rocket's Doug Trio destroying the house. First edition PSA 8. That is freaking sweet. All right, so we have a Becky card. Case is already thicker. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> that man. is sick, dude. There's so much in this box. Pokey Rev, you freaking filled it up and then you filled it up again. Because this thing is filled to the brim. I grabbed this on accident. Check this out, dude. You see this? Oh my god, what is that? This is an original Japanese binder for Johto. Oh my <laughs> We got freaking Cynical. Chikorita. We got Odile. Wait, well, that's Neo. It's for the Neo series. It's for the Neo set. I don't know if the cards are in there or if they're not in there. That's a question needs to be answered. There is another box that had a question mark on top of it. No I was, way. I was moving the paper around. There's another box with a question mark on it. So who knows what's in that one? We're gonna keep going through the letters and stuff like that because everything in here is ridiculous. And I can't think of enough. Let's keep moving. Let's see what we got. Okay, next folder. Let's see what's in this blister. I am guessing it's a blister of some kind. I see a coin shape. I see cards, right? Uh, yeah, well, that'd be the card promo. That'd be like probably the rest. Yeah, okay, yeah. so let's see what we got here. Blister. Oh! That is so legit looking. That's a Blaziken pack. <laughs> That's a Palkia, dude. Palkia ain't Blaziken. Oh, it kind of looks like it. It looks like his legs can't let the knee. Yeah, and, and Michael Jordan looks like Betty Crocker. <laughs> Next pack. Oh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap, dude. Do you remember Team Magma and Team Aqua? I do. <laughs> yes. Like I was just saying, like, I think for Parker too, like third gen is the gen. That is the generation of like nostalgia for everybody this age group. That is it right there. That is going on my shelf right next to my Ruby and Sapphire. That is freaking sick, dude. All right, so I think we have another BGS here. Let's see which one this one is. Ooh. Oh. Three. Two, one. Oh, oh <laughs> the nice. king of Nito right here. Another Becky card. These are my first ever Becky cards I've ever had in my collection, guys. And I have only had PSA cards. But like I said, Becky is like the cream of the crop when it comes to the grading. So thank you so much. Oh my like, gosh, dude. Pokemon League. These are original badges from the Pokemon League. What? These are the badges. If you win and compete in the Pokemon League, these are badges. Original badges. Holy crap, dude. We got a Net Ball, Pokeball, Ultra Ball, Great Ball, Nest Ball. Oh. Oh, the Time Ball. Right here, City Championships, 2006 to 2007. Dude, that is <laughs> Sick. This is the kind of stuff I'm saying, guys, he has. I don't know where he gets this stuff. The man's a legend. Go check him out, like I said. Holy crap, this is sweet. Okay, and then we got some cards inside here. What do we got? Oh, okay, we got some promo cards. We got Ancient Mew and the original Intake card. That's sweet. These are my little, little, little toss, and those are awesome. All right, let's open this thing right here, this little poly bag. 
All right, Ooh. do we have a blister in here to match up with this one right here? Oh, yes, the oh, Aegis Triumphant. You have three. You have the Triumphant, <laughs> yes. the Undaunted, and then the uh, Unleashed. Parker, which is my, what is my favorite game of all Pokemon? Heart Gold. Yeah, that one. And Soul Silver. He knew that. He knew that. I, knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the HS packs right there. That is freaking sweet. All right, see what we got inside this next box. Three, two, <gasps> yes! Let's go! Let's go! That is the set that I want to collect so bad! Right here, we have Ruby and Sapphire, the originals! Dude, every art. Dude, these are so going on display. These are so going on display. All the other stuff, comment down below, and it might happen, but these for sure are staying sealed. What about that one? That's an extra one. That one, maybe you guys can open. <laughs> this is getting destroyed. Disgusting. <laughs> this table should be lucky to be underneath these products. <laughs> <cars. laughs> product. We should be lucky to be breathing in the air. This is way too good for, for me. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Okay, another PSA card, dude. Let's pull it. Oh! <laughs> Right there, Charmander from Expedition, Reverse Hollow. There is a few more packages in here, guys. And then we have one more of these mystery boxes. Oh, I cannot wait. The last one had the fossil in it. I don't know what's in here. It could be a flash fire. It could be black and white. Who knows what could be in this? All right, this is one last blister, I think. Right, you on it? I don't know what this would be from. Power oh, Keepers. Wow. Hey, <laughs> dude, do you know what's in Power Keepers? What? Gold stars. No gold way. Gold star. I think there's a gold star. I think gold star Jolteon, gold star Vaporeon, and also the gold star Flareon. Which if you eat those PSA, you're just you're on Easy Street. You're living on Easy Street when you pull that PSA tin. That would be insane. If you guys want to see that open, maybe that one could happen. Let me know in the comments down below. So there's two things left, and also the big box in there. Let's get these last two items. I already have to say this is the most amazing Pokemon opening of all time. I had a blast doing it, but let's see what else we see. Still got in here. Despite all the amazing stuff, there is more things. All right, so here we go. See what we got here. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> hey, dude. Look oh. at that. That is so sweet. Do you remember these original tins, dude? Yeah, Everybody in your dude. school had this. Everybody in your school. <laughs> we got the freaking Pikachu and Brock. Just forget Misty. Who are these dweebs over here? Pikachu and Brock tin right here. <laughs> All right, in the last box, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Pokemon. Snap! Oh no. Is it sealed, dude? It's sealed. It's sealed. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Right here! We got Pokemon Snap oh sealed god. in the original box right here. Oh, it's dude. got a little ding right here, but I mean, that's freaking nothing compared to a sealed copy. Nintendo 64 sealed <laughs> game. Holy crap, we gotta play a clip of just like one of the most iconic moments in freaking Pokemon Snap if you guys haven't remembered it. That is what Pokemon Snap is. Like literally, it was like Instagram before Instagram was a thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so this is all of the stuff that I like I said, I have to say 100% already worth it. It has been worth it for like five minutes. Okay, well five minutes for you. It's been like an hour for me. It's been worth it for the whole time. <laughs> let's see what is the last box though. Okay, let's grab it inside here again. Reach inside the poly bag. Let's see what comes okay, out. Oh! <laughs> Right there, black and white. <laughs> that is so freaking sweet. That is awesome because we had a conversation. I had a conversation with Pokerev, and I was telling him that I remember opening these in high school like crazy. So right here, we have a black and white sealed base set booster box. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> that is a perfect way to end it with another sweet booster box. Again, shout out to Pokerev for making this possible because, man, nobody's got stuff like this. So this is just insane. You cannot get all of this stuff in one one place anywhere else that is freaking sweet so thank you so much to pokey rev thank you guys so much for watching but you guys know the drill scan it
Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, make sure I smash the like button. I mean destroy the like button because maybe, maybe I'm working with PokeRev. And again, shout out to PokeRev. Links will be down below to his channel, Instagram, all that stuff. But we are probably working on something like this. Not $5,000, but something like this. A mystery box, but where everything in it is too open. If you guys like to see that, let me know down below. And also if you guys like to see any of this stuff right here as well. But right here on your screen is the last epic Pokemon card unboxing where I opened up every single set of Sun and Moon all the way up until Sword and Shield. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, right back, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.